Yo, what's going on? I'm gonna be showing you how to play Amumu Jungle properly. We're gonna be playing him the tanky version. You can go Electric Q or Aftershock. Looks like they're invading me, which is unfortunate. You normally start with your bot lane for the best leash possible on Amumu, and it's normally best to max your E first, and normally to start E as well. You'll take less damage. One of the main crux for Amumu is he's not as tanky as tank champions like Nunu and Zac. And he doesn't do as much AP damage as things like Echo and Evelyn. So if you go full tank, you're not as tanky as other people. And if you go at full AP, you're not doing as much damage anyway. So it's one of the reasons why he's not very meta right now. But I understand a lot of beginner players like to play him. So hopefully I can help you guys learn a thing or two. I think they're on my reds. So I'll start on my raptors, which sucks. But I mean, we can do it. Pretty sure they're on it. I should have landed the E on the big one as well. That's all right. The little ones, the more you get hit by autos, it refreshes your E, so you can actually start Raptors pretty easily. Yeah, they stole my red. Yeah, Vanguard's over here. I don't really want to fight him. He can jump on me. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't really affect me. In fact, I can go to his Raptors unless I see him cross through mid, since he's over here. Odds are uh, he's not crossing over. He actually looks like he's going to his blue buff there. My ward's giving me really good vision. So it looks like he's going to go over there. So yeah, Mumu, he's not very strong. Level 1, level 2, level 3, he can start to gank. But early on, he's pretty bad. Like, you can't really solo anybody. So the reason I'm saying that is you want to try to avoid those situations. And just not do that at all. Just focus on getting level 3 and then you can gank. And then focus on getting level 6. That's your next power spike. Full jungle item, Cinder Hulk is your next power spike. Uh, Proto Belt's a really big power spike for Mumu as well. Kind of like version of Gragas. Even if you don't have blue buff, you still have a decent amount of mana because your hunter's talisman. Kind of have to go for his red buff since he took mine and I saw which way he was walking so I feel comfortable taking his. I don't feel like he's going to come and kill me. I can't go top lane. I'm only level 2. Darius is already like, he has a big minion wave shoving and that would be a really bad gank right now. Yeah, he's probably going to get soloed. Best to just mute him. He's probably going to flame me since he got soloed. It's a classic laner thing to do. It's best to try to ignore negativity from laners who solo lose lane. That's not going to help you win the game. So yeah. Mumumu takes Raptors really well. He struggles on single target camps. He takes Raptors and Wolves the best out of any camp. I kind of want to use my Smite on Scuttle. I'm going to see if Rengar's on it. Yeah, he's on it. I can't really fight for it. He's quite a bit stronger than I am in 1v1s early on. I do outscale him, but I can't really fight him. I'm actually going to give up this Gromp. I don't want to stay on it, so I'm just going to take my Wolves here and then get my Raptors. For sure not the best start on a Mumu. Normally your best start is to get a leash from your bot lane, whether it's blue or red, and then you just move up. Usually you skip either Gromp or Golems, whichever side of the map you're on. You can queue over to camps like that, over walls to either get away or just to get to the camp faster. I think Rengar's going for double scuttle. He just crossed over for it. That's really good for him. Not so great for us. That's all right though. We're gonna outscale this guy. We're gonna go to our golems next. We're really low. You're probably wondering why we haven't backed yet. We're about to back anyways. And we already know where Rengar is, so I feel safe. If I had no clue where he was, I probably wouldn't be doing this. Max or E first. Mm, I can't really get over there in time. So we're just going to play it smart and not show on the map. By not showing, we're giving our team pressure all around. By showing and not doing anything, we're making it harder for our team as a whole. In your first back, you normally want to go for Balmy Cinder. It's the best bank for your buck. It helps your clears, helps your damage. Really solid item. If you have to back earlier, you can go for Blue Smite or even a Dark Seal. Dark Seal is decent because it gives you more healing. And the move does scale with AP. His AP scaling is kind of bad. For the most part, it's not that great, but it doesn't hurt to get a dark seal if uh, you're in a pinch and you don't have much gold to spend. Just make sure you get level 6 on Amumu before 8 minutes in. It looks like Ringar's going bot. I'm going to re-invade re his jungle. He hasn't backed it. He only has Hunter's Machete. So the odds of him like even coming up here, it wouldn't matter. He can't get here in time. Plus, he's just more likely to back in general. He's pro I guess the scuttle disappeared by now. He killed it. Thought it might have still been up. I'm just going to go ahead and mute my teammates. I already have a feeling they're going to start flaming. It's all right, though. I know we can carry this. Rengar's bot. They can't take very many plates. After they take two, they don't have much AD yet. The plates get a lot of extra armor. All right. Got his scuttle. He, Rengar's wasting a lot of time bot. He shouldn't still be there. 
If you can't get a kill, you shouldn't be there. You should be farming and getting level 6 or getting full jungle item. When you're fighting your camps, just leave your W on, use your E every time it's up, and use your Q on the big monster. Pretty simple. You don't have to kite the camp that hard when you're a Moomoo. Sometimes it's actually best if you just pull it out a little bit. Try to keep, try to keep, make sure they're in your tiers. You don't want to like run too far away from them like that. But it is good to pull them out of the pit. You don't want to stand in the pit of any monster camp because people can come up behind you and pinch you pretty hard. I legit don't think we can kill this guy. Yeah, I think GP's about to. Ooh, he missed his flash. Awesome. So for those of you wondering what happened there, your I need to reset. I think Ringar's going to my red, and I need to back. There's Bush was worded, but since I had my sweeper on, it made the word not work. The word can't see anything when you got sweeper on. So I just waited there, and GP didn't know which way I was running. So as he was he running around the wall, I just uh, didn't care. I'm not I'm not gonna wait for boots. I need to get out there. I think Ringar's gonna be on my red right now, so I'm just gonna head straight over there. If I didn't think Ringar was going to my red, I would. Uh, just waited the extra 10 15 seconds to get my boots i needed 20 golds but instead i just left i don't even know if i can fight him is the shitty part if i can't fight him i'll just have to queue away all right he hasn't taken Ooh, he's actually went my top side he's, he's pissed he's mad that i took his camp so he went and took my wolves his blues coming up he's on the wrong side of the map because my red's over here his blues over here he's not playing around the buff spawn he just like rage invaded me he's just trying to get anything or maybe he's looking for me uh, yeah, I'll go take his blue buff. I think I can get it. Ooh, I'll just get this bad boy. Smite it. Why it's CC? Smite does. It did 600 damage, and it says it only does 480. Scuttle takes like 20% more damage from all sources whenever you have things CC. I'll go to dragon. I kind of want to get blue buffers. I'm really in no rush to go for dragon. I saw Rengar top, but. The early dragons aren't that important, especially in mid or low elo. It's more important not falling behind, but I'm still going to go for it. I see Ringar's top. LeBlanc's not reacting, so it is a good call. I sm that was a bad smite on my part. I don't think I can really get to them. I'm pretty sure that's warded. I'm going to queue over the wall to get to it faster. Like I said, I can't really get over there, so I'm just going to let it be. I need to get out though. Rengar is going to be leaving base and he's most likely going to come over here. Since this is where all the action is, he's going to be like right there right now. I'm going to take this plant. Wow, this wasn't a close fight at all. They're wrecking us. I'm going to kill him. Auto attack E. Auto attack R. He's dead. E. Oh, she actually chained me. Might flash Q or we'll see. Q, E. It's a nice thing about having a lot of E damage. It's so much AoE. Maxing Q isn't bad, but it'll hurt your clears and you'll take more damage. Every time you level up your E, you take less damage from uh, minions, monsters, and champions in terms of physical damage. I'm not sure where Rengar is. I don't really care where he is. I'm tanky enough and high enough level to where he can't really one shot me and I can survive his burst. And we should be able to start scaling. He might actually be on my blue side jungle, so I'll ping this out for Darius just in case. If I was Rangar, I'd, I'd probably go top. He's low on health, and uh, uh, Rangar didn't show up bot, so he's most likely top side. So that ping hopefully helps him. My ultimate's down, and I have enough gold to get Cinder Hulk, so I'm going to go ahead and back. Whenever you have a big power spike, you want to play around that. Since, since I have enough gold to get full jungle item, which is a huge power spike, I want to go ahead and get that. With the Moomoo, you normally go for Blue Smite. That way you can land your Q easier. But Red Smite isn't bad either. Both are solid. I'm going to go ahead and get Tabbies. Their team's super, super, super AD heavy. I'm going to ping out the Rengar for my teammates. Do you see how I'm pinging Rengar? I'm not pinging my teammates so they don't get angry. I'm just going to ping that out for them. Ping out where he probably is or going. I'm going to Q over the wall. Nice. Got my Wolf. Can get up, get around places faster. Normally, I normally like to max Q second for the cooldown reduction. In this particular game, they don't even have a tank, so I'll max Q second. If they're really tanky, you can max W second if you want. Q second max is normally better, though. Cooldown reduction on it. It's pretty nice. 
can shut this guy down. Yeah, he didn't even get my blue buff. Rengar, I think he was just, uh, he feels like he's behind because he over ganked early. He stayed bot for way too long to where he just was trying to farm up. He might actually come for this scuttle crab. Yeah. He doesn't have R. I mean, he doesn't have any full item. I'm going to Q with an E. I don't know why he didn't come for scuttle. Was I on a ward? I'm going to auto attack E. Hold on to Q. Oh my god, I missed. I should have blue smited him first. If I would have blue smited him first, I definitely would have killed him. That was my bad. I Not only did I not blue smite first, that's an important lesson. If I would have had him slowed and then queued, I wouldn't have missed it. I tried to predict his movement, but I just... He didn't juke at all, and then I just hard missed my queue. That was bad placement on my part, for sure. Ripperoni. It was nice that we got him low. Still not ideal. I'm going to ping out where he is. The pink ward I have in his jungle is giving us some really good vision. Remember, Raptors is the easiest camp for a Mumu. His E tears through it super quick. And since there's a lot of little Raptors hitting you, it puts you on a super short cooldown. 12 minutes in is also a power spike for us. Since we have conditioning at the 12 minute mark, we're getting a bunch of bonus armor magic resist, which is really nice. Go ahead and pick up this bad boy. Ooh, that actually looks gankable. I'm just going to kill him. Ooh, it's warded. They know I'm here. I could flash you if I wanted. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flash R. Mm, he actually flashed away. Uh, I gotta just leave that. Unfortunate. I should have just flashed ultied him. If you're if you're not sure if they have flash, a lot of times it's better to just flash ult, and then when they're ulted, you can hit him with Q. Since your Q isn't guaranteed, you want to try to use it at point blank range if the enemies are already CC'd. Kind of situation. I definitely would have gotten the kill if I would have flash R then Q'd him. Unfortunate. Hope you guys are learning something. You're learning what not to do here. Let's pull this bad boy out. Alright, let's get him. Let's get him, guys. Want to pull him out. Rengar doesn't have full jungle item. I'm bot their bot lane's about to collapse on me. Good flash from TF. That was really clean. I knew their bot lane was about to be here. Sure enough, they are. I don't know where LeBlanc is. TF is full health. I'm kind of tanky. My smite's about to be up. I don't think it'll actually be up in time. We're chunking this down really fast. Alright. Solid, solid. Go ahead and take Scuttle Crab. Q E it. Get that burst down. Scuttle Crab also does give you back a bunch of mana when you kill it. Juke her out. I don't think I can even kill this chick. Ooh, good Soraka R. <laughs> I'm just, oh man, I got a Q to my Raptors. Mm, I think I'm still gonna die. Ooh, I R'd him. I think I live. Nice. The queuing to a monster camp saves you all the time. I think they're going to get my red, though. That sucks. I'll go to his Raptors and get his red, I guess. Like, he's going to take literally all of that. LeBlanc's kind of low. She'll probably back. I'll check to see if this is warded. All right, it's not warded. I'll hug the wall just in case that bushes. It can't see me. Okay. Yeah, Rengar's bot. He did, did he even take my red? He didn't. He actually just rushed it. He's going to lose all of his camps now. It's unfortunate for him. I'm going to take everything. I don't know. I think the GP hard won that one. I think this GP smurfing on him. Take his golems as well. We have a massive CS advantage over Rengar. Remember guys, you want to hit level 6 on a Mumu no later than the 8 minute mark. If you're hitting level 6 later than the 8 minute mark, you're, uh, you're behind or you're doing something wrong. We hit level 6 pretty fast, even though they started on our red buff and invaded us. We made the most out of it with a proper early award. It gave us a lot of info so we could uh, make some appropriate counter adjustments. So normally at this point, you go for Hextech Pro to belt. Mumu does have some AP scalings, but more importantly, Hextech helps you land your Q, helps you land your R, because it gives you 
It's almost like a half of flash. It's a tiny little dash. It's like two vein tumbles. Gets you in position. I'm going to go ahead, rush down my blue side, and go for Harold. I think GP might be on my blue. I could definitely solo him at this point. If, he saw, if he's on my blue, he's probably taking it. I'll just take Wolves first. All right, that guy's dead. Oh, he didn't take it. I'm a lucky guy. Darius is really going to give up all of these minions. It's a lot of XP. It's a lot of XP. That that was like three, two and a half monster camps dying on the turret there. All right, we got it. We'll go get our blue buff. And then we can do Herald if we want to. We should be able to solo Rengar. He doesn't have full jungle item. I think he's going for Dustblade. Rengars normally go team at Dustblade, which makes them kind of easy to solo unless they're ahead because Dustblade is an inefficient purchase. It costs more than a jungle item. It's good if you're ahead though, of course. Looks like Rengar's prowling through. He realizes all this stuff is gone. He might go for Scuttle Crab here. Q it, E it. We're pretty high level too. My ult's up, I can look for a play here. I'm gonna try to blue smite them first if I can. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna have to hit him with a Q. Oh, I can't reach them. It's unfortunate. If I had flash, or if the enemies were more aggressive, that definitely would've been a kill. She was stunned, so I could just Q her for free. That's really good. CC, when she, your teammates have CC, it works really well with the Mumu. Where's this Rengar going? He must be going bot. He is. I can kill him. I think, Ray, I think Darius is going to kill him too. Darius is super balanced, by the way. Nice Soraka ult. Go ahead and smite this guy. Nice. And we have, once again, we have our ult ready to use. We don't have to force it. If we have map pressure, we can continue to farm their camps while we have it and just keep taking objectives. Could probably go for Harold here. Moo's kind of, I don't want to say slow at taking Harold, but it's not ideal for sure. We'll try it. We'll take it and then we'll go straight to Dragon. Once you have full jungle item, taking Harold's pretty easy for a Moo. Your W does shred it pretty well. Your W just max health damage, and Harold obviously has a lot of HP. You just make sure you have to move around, hit it in the back. If you're just standing still, you'll take a lot of damage. And you, that hitting it in the eye is what really how you take it fast. GP's typing a lot. I don't think he's too happy about that matchup. He's letting Darius have a piece of his mind. My ulti's up. Oh, I think they're already on it. We could probably fight it though. Their bot lane's not there. We needed Ezreal to kind of move though. Soraka E'd really freaking early there. Gonna R them. Blue smite him, E. Q him. Nice, that's some damage. Double R, double E. Landed RQ. Solid stuff. Good heals from Soraka. Now we want to just take camps once again. We have a lead. We want to farm their camps, not our own. You tell all our camps up, but Ezreal's farming them. <laughs> he's not pushing up, but he's just taking camps. It's so funny. We'll just hop the wall, take his raptors. He's going to just take everything, I guess. He, <laughs> he's turning into jungler. Ooh, Darius. Yeah, you got to back up there. We have Harold. Now's not really the time to use it though. My ult's on cooldown, so I don't want to have a big team fight around me laying Harold. Mm. I'm, I'm way more fed than Rengar. I, he really shouldn't be mad about me killing him. I have way more items in him. I'm uh, like three levels up. That's just what, how it is. Even if someone's a tank, if they're higher level and they have more items, they're going to beat you in a 1v1. Especially early game. Early game tank items are pretty strong. We have Proto Belt now. We're gonna go for, like I said, they're AD heavy. We could go Abyssal for the LeBlanc, but she's not even fed. And I don't think she's gonna go after us. 
We are getting 12 magic resist from conditioning as well, which will, she, she didn't even go for Sork Shoes. So we actually have a decent amount of MR versus her. But yeah, I kind of, since they have four AD, I wanted Thornmel. He does a lot of damage and obviously makes you quite tanky. Synergizes well with your E. I have Proto Belt ready to nut. You can Proto Belt Q and get some good combos that way. Like I can flash Proto Belt Q here if I want. Mmm, I missed my Q. That's not great. I can't really just enter that bush. I don't have the backup to do so. They're all really low. I'm gonna force Harold here. If they wanna fight it, I'm gonna wreck him. Oof. Got him. Harold just turned his back to them. That was so troll. Harold could have just hit the inhib for free. LeBlanc pulled back. Taking a bit of damage. Ooh, yep, there we go. Flash R. Protobelt. That was like a three or four man R there. Getting off lots of AoE damage. I tried. Ooh, I lived. Oh, no way. Did you see? The person over, there was someone behind us, I don't know who it was, but I tried to Q to him to kill him and to also fly to him to get out of that situation. So I was tanking here and then I could have Q'd to disengage and to finish him off. Obviously the person died, so my Q didn't land, so I almost died, but we landed a really good R, flash R OP. We Q flash R'd and then while they're all R'd, we protobelted them. We could have landed Q flash protobelt R, but it's just the way it turned out. After flashing, I was on top of them all. If you're on top of them, you might as well press R, especially if your team's behind you. There's no need to wait because if you're on top of them, they might feel uncomfortable and then they might flash away like right as you're pressing R and you'll miss them. That's not cool, Ezreal. Not cool, my dude. This guy's very farm hungry. He's a farm hungry boy. Rengar saw me, he should be panicking. I have way more items than this guy, and I'm three levels up on him. I'm going to blue smite him, run him down. Yeah, I mean, if I Q him at point blank range, he's not going to get away. That's the thing. So if I protobelt into him, blue smite, run him down, and then press Q, it's like he's just dead. It's that simple. Especially when I have all these items and he only has one. There's just no way he can fight us. Take Gromp out. We should get this dragon here. My ulti's back up. I'm ready to fight. And we do have ultimate hunter, which is going to help us a lot in these team fights. Doesn't look like anyone's ready to fight. Baron is definitely not the call right here. If all the enemies are alive, you don't do Baron unless you can distinctly see where they are on the map. Because they could just be waiting. And if they steal it, there's no reason for us to take that risk and we have all the cards. We have a full house, we don't have to, f like, set up a bad situation. I have Proto Belt and R here. I'm gonna Proto Belt, R. I got the Senna still. I have Soraka on me. Landed my Q, E. We're gonna pull back. We did a whole lot of tanking. We soaked in Ignite, I think. Probably both of their Ignites, honestly. Let Soraka run back to me. Ooh, I got a heal out of there. That's awesome. Probably get a Spirit Vicious since we have Soraka. That MR will counter out the LeBlanc. Since their team once again had 4 AD, I wasn't in a hurry to build MR. If they had more AP, then I would have gone for an Abyssal Mask or something like that. In this case, if you have a Soraka or Yumi, Spirit Vicious is definitely one of the best MR items you can build since it, their heals on you are become much stronger. I'll actually leave Red Buff for Ezreal. He's fed. You might as well have it at this point in the game. If you have a fed AD carry that you trust, you might as well let them have the third, fourth, fifth, sixth red buff if you're playing a Moomoo. It can do a lot more good with it than you can. I'm gonna back at some MR. I could even go for Gargoyle. Gargoyle is a good item. We have a solid amount of HP, it would be decent. But like I said, they do have some AP damage with the LeBlanc. Plus I have the Soraka heal, so if I could get Spirit Vistage and have her heal me, it's going to be insanely big. But I don't really recommend Electrocute a Moomoo. You might as well just play Echo or Evelyn, seriously. If you're going to play a Moomoo, 
Aftershock with these runes, and you're gonna max E and start E. You're gonna go E W Q. You can gank at level three if you want, but you don't gank before three on Amumu. And it's all about kind of hitting level six. Ooh, landed the Q. Got her. I have Protobel R here. My R is only on a 70 second cooldown. Where's Santa? I want to Q her. Oh, hit him with the R. Why is no one hitting Gangplank? <laughs> Literally no one's hitting them. Ooh, stunner myself. My Aftershock made me so tanky there. And that's it, guys. If you want to see the full runes, item, order, all that kind of technical stuff, go to the very start of the video. You'll find it there. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tank Amumu gameplay commentary. This is how you play Amumu if you have someone who's new to League of Legends or a friend who wants to play jungle and they have no clue how. Maybe send them this video. Recommend it to them because Amumu is really easy. It's basically the easiest champion in the game for the jungle. And anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.